Make sure to subscribe TechRiver. Once you subscribe, you will be notified from every new video from your channel. Hey guys, welcome back to TechRiver. In today's video, I am going to show you how to remove Python lock or PIN code from an Android phone without losing data and without USB debugging. In other words, how to unlock Python from an Android phone without doing factory reset. As you can see here, I have a Samsung Galaxy S4 which is protected with a PIN code. Since I don't know the PIN code, I cannot access my phone. There is another way to unlock this phone by doing factory reset, but if I do a factory reset, I will lose all of my files inside this phone which I really don't want to lose because in this phone, I have very very important files that are very very priceless to me. If you are in same condition, then keep watching this video till the end and I will show you everything step by step to unlock your phone without losing your precious data. And also, USB debugging is not enabled in my this phone and I will show the proof once I unlock this phone. So, keep watching this video till the end and I will show you everything. Before starting this tutorial, make sure you note down your phone's model number because we will need that later on this video. To note down your phone's model number, just turn off your phone. Now take out the battery, model number of the phones are usually printed underneath the battery. So take out the battery, now you can see here is my phone's model number, yours should be there. As you can see mine is right here. After that go to your PC and download a software by the name of Dr. Phone Lock Screen Removal. To remove pattern lock or pin code from your Android devices, you will need a piece of software by the name of Dr. Phone Lock Screen Removal which you can get from the link given in the description below. Once you click the link below, it will take you to its official web page. Once you are there, scroll all the way down until you see an option by the name of Android Lock Screen Removal. Just click on it. Okay, after that, as you can see, this software can remove four screen lock types including pattern, pin, password and even fingerprints. Just download and install the software into your computer. Unfortunately, you have to purchase the software in order to remove pattern lock or pin code from your Android devices. This software does have a free version, but free version didn't work for me. I have tried it myself, but it didn't work for me. So I had to purchase it myself. But before you purchase it, make sure your device is supported by this software. To check that, scroll down. There you see an option by the name of Preview the list of supported devices. Just right click on it and open it in a new tab. After that, you will see list of devices that are currently supported by this software. I wanted to make this video few months ago, but by then, this software didn't support my phone. But now, it does support my phone. To check that, just type your phone's model number here. In my case, this is my phone's model number, i9505. Just hit on search and if your phone is listed here, that means this software can remove pattern or pin code from your Android devices. As you can see here is my phone which is listed here and that means I can remove pattern or pin code from my phone using this software. If you want to purchase this software then please purchase it from my link from the description below. That would be huge huge help for this channel. Once the software is installed on your computer just open it up. Now select lock screen removal option from here. Now click on start. Now it's asking you to connect your phone to PC through a USB cable. Now connect your phone to PC through a USB cable. Okay now select your phone's brand, device name and device model and all those steps. In my case my phone's brand is Samsung. My device name is Samsung Galaxy S4 and my device model is GTI9505. So just select your phone's model and all those stuffs. Make sure your phone's device name and device model and all those stuffs are 100% correct. If it's not correct, then it might cause some damage to your phone. So make sure it's 100% correct. After that, click on next. Okay, now it's asking you to reconfirm your choice. So my choice is 100% correct. So I'm going to type here, confirm, click on okay. 
now it's asking you to get your phone into download mode now different phones have different methods to get into download mode since i'm using a samsung galaxy phone i know the key combination if you don't know the key combination of your phone just go to google and search how to get how to get download mode of your phone model and all those stuffs so mine is something so key combination is very simple so just power it off if you are using samsung device just follow my steps first press and hold the volume down button now press and hold home button and also press and hold power button just press and hold these three buttons together for a few seconds once you see something like this just press and hold volume up button for a few seconds and now you will get into download mode now just put your phone as it is okay after that the software will download some recovery packages for your phone so you have to wait for it this is going to take a while depending on your internet connection okay as you can see now downloading recovery package is completed now it's recovering my device which is 90 percent completed after recovering device process is completed your phone will restart and after that pattern or pin code or whatever it's you are using will be removed so you have to wait for it this is going to take another few minutes now as you can see here it says remove password completed now password or pattern should be removed from your phone okay now password or pin code has been removed from my phone as you can see now here it says swipe screen to unlock and boom here's my phone and as i mentioned earlier in this video i will show you to unlock this phone without losing my data let me go to my phone and as you can see none of my data has been touched so let's go to gallery all my pictures all my videos are there none of them has been touched as you can see remember at the beginning of the video i told you that usb debugging was not enabled in this phone so let me show you the proof so let me go to settings let me go to developer option which is right there and as you can see developer option is turned off and also usb debugging is turned off so guys that's it that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please give it a big big thumbs up and share this video with your friends on facebook twitter google plus that would be greatly greatly appreciated and if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel with notification on and i'll see you on the next one have a great day